Facebook, right? Yes, you're on. You're live. Hey, good evening, everyone. It is uh, time for another live. And uh, I sent out a message about a half hour ago, or excuse me, an hour ago. And uh, hopefully somebody will show up. So here we go. We got uh, I got several things I want to cover tonight. A couple of really good questions. Um, uh, a couple of kind of announcement kind of thing. We got another gift from a uh, a friend, and uh, in fact, I'll go into that right now. So uh, well, let some people come on first. Yeah, I'm going to talk about uh, VO2. Um, VO2 veterans uh, out of Denver. I've um, got some stuff from them before. It's been a year or so, maybe, but uh, our friend David Hess and his group up there, they sent me some stuff about a year ago and we, uh, we kind of promoted them. And I hadn't heard from David for a while, but uh, in, the, in the mail, he sent me, uh, all of a sudden I got a package from him yesterday and he sent me a couple of really cool challenge coins and um, these things are really awesome. I love challenge coins anyway. Not like I really collect them, but I, I got some really cool challenge coins from him. And uh, then he also sent along with that, with these challenge Hold coins. On. Oh, okay. I don't know if I've got that right side up or not. That one's not. That one's not. Okay. Really cool challenge coins. And he sent me a kicking sweatshirt. Check this thing out. This thing is like heavy. It's like a jacket. It's not like a hoodie. It's like more like a jacket. It's super heavy. And then uh, the back has got a great logo. So if you guys don't know who these guys are, definitely check them out. Uh, VO2, Veterans Overcoming Obstacles. Anyway, fantastic organization. They do great things with physical fitness with uh, veterans up there that uh, may have issues and help help them. They've got their own gym, and uh, they do competitions. They're a great group. Yeah, guys. Smith said he's actually working on a challenge coin flag. Oh, that's cool. Um, anyway, it, okay. Nancy says, "What's a challenge coin?" A challenge coin, or um, what I do with them. The first time I ever saw one was I uh, had to do with military and for certain uh, certain achievements, they would get one of these challenge coins and they're they're super. Um, and now they're very popular with a lot of uh, a lot of organizations, police force, uh, different things. If you Google challenge coins, you'll see uh, a bazillion of them. There's just uh, you can have them special made. And that's what these guys did. But um, a lot of police force and um, um, first responders and a lot of military have uh, challenge coins. But I think any organization can get these things made. Originally, it was a challenge. My understanding was a challenge. Once somebody achieved a certain thing within the military, they received a challenge coin. It was kind of like an award, like a trophy kind of thing. Now, um, you know, there's any number of different ways that they're given out, but these things are cool. They're uh, super oh, substantial. Matt says, just got here. Show it again. Matt. Matt, Matt Bay? Yes. Okay. Show them again. Oh, show the coins again? So, Matt, I was talking about uh, VO2, which is Veterans Overcoming Obstacles out in Denver. And they have a great uh, program up there to help veterans out for their... Um, in physical fitness and they do they do uh, groups and they do um, like Tough Mudders and, and all kinds of different um, competitions. They, they do competitions. And then, um, so my buddy Dave Hess, who actually I met through Get Rachel. Get from your face. What, what, I'm showing the shirt. Here, is that better? No, I said away from your face. Anyway, Matt, it's a great uh, sweatshirt. It's a great organization, uh, Veterans Overcoming Obstacles. So I, I encourage you guys to check them out. Donate if you can. They're just a terrific organization. Great group of guys up there. You would be, you'll be very impressed with their, uh, with their stuff and what they do. But they, uh, they help 
through physical fitness, they help veterans kind of overcome their uh, maybe PTSD stuff and different things. So um, very impressed with those guys. And thank you so much, David, if you see this. I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. I really love my sweatshirt, my coins. So anyway, that is that. Uh, second announcement, our workshop, our first workshop the other day uh, with Zoom, we had uh, a bunch of people in there and it went fantastic. Rachel and Vicky were behind the camera. I was in front of the camera and Rachel and Vicky just did an amazing job. Uh, there was like no hiccups. I think it just went don't, really smooth. Don't curse it. It went really, really well. So we're going to be doing it again this this Saturday for five more Saturdays. That's why Vicky and I weren't on uh, weren't on Facebook Live. We will resume that probably after the workshops are over. But uh, super happy with it. Everybody seemed to really like it. So um, when we do more, if if this works out the way that it that I think it will, we'll probably be doing more later in the year. Uh, Bert Graham said, you can send me the sweatshirt. It never gets cold down your way. Huh. <laughs> it's going to get down into the 40s later this week. Anyway, rain tomorrow, maybe. All right, let's get into the questions. So, first question is um, from Antonio. And Antonio, these are pretty quick questions. Nothing really major. Uh, Antonio says, hi, Eric. I want to use the the 90 degree V groove to make your background in the black part of this artwork. Um, I don't know what to do in the thin areas um, in which the bit will be too big. What can I do? So this is the artwork that he's oh, talking like about. That. And uh, it just ha so happens that we did the video the mm -hmm. other day on this. I don't know how big he's making it, but so what he's saying is with the 90 degree to get into here, It'll fit, but to get into these tight spaces. So if you have something like that, guys, and you're cutting it inset, and that's what he's doing. He wants to cut it inset and make it textured background in those black spots. Just go to the 60 degree if it'll fit. If it doesn't fit, then go to the profile bit. And if that doesn't fit, then drop clear down to the to the carving liner, which I don't, it would have to be, you know, that size. But I think he was blowing it up. Sorry, I don't mean to be moving my hands because that's going to mess up the focus. So I'm hoping the sound and the, the picture is pretty well tonight. Pretty good. Um, anyway, so that's what I told Antonio. You start with a 90. If that doesn't fit, go down to the 60. If that doesn't fit, go down to the profile bit. If that doesn't fit, go down to the carving liner. So that's the kind of the progression of width from bits. And I've never really said that, but that's kind of the descending prog progression of width from the widest all the way down okay that's uh so hopefully that helped antonio and i thought it might help you guys so uh that's why i wanted to share it say perfect uh, picture and sound is good excellent great to hear that uh so now i have a, a question about Ant from anthony anthony just signed up as a premium member Thank you so much, Anthony. In case he's you here, I think he's here. I think he's here. I saw his name. Um, really cool. Uh, so mm -hmm. Anthony was uh, asking about. Uh, he had just signed up as a premium member, and he said, uh, "What are the templates that I will be getting?" I was wondering about uh, wanting to buy some, but I remember mm -hmm. that I'm going to be getting a bunch of them for joining. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I'll go into that as, in a second. Um, and he said, is there anywhere on the website list, this is a second question, of the YouTube video that lists the YouTube videos in chronological order? So I'll answer that too. Um, let me get to the first question there. So there was a, a little miscommunication, guys. So every month that you're a premium member, you get one of these one of these templates. We uh, Vicky picks a template every month. So this one was January. Uh, this one was February, and this one was this month, March. So, but here's the thing. When you become a premium member, he became a premium member like a few days ago. He will be receiving one of these in the next time we ship something to them, to him. But you don't get any back ones. It's not like retroactive where you get any 
from previous, unless you order them, they're on the website, you can order them for 350, but you don't get those free because we've been doing premium member or uh, uh, Tom's template of the month. We've been doing those for- Since 2016. Yeah, for four years. So you, you just get from the time you sign up forward. As long as you're a premium member, then whatever template is that month, you will receive that. Now, a caveat to that is you, we won't ship these out by themselves. If you're sending bits in to get them sharpened, any that you have built up, we will send back to you, put automatically, put those in your package. Vicky keeps track of all that stuff. So if you order something, or if you have bits that you, that I sharpen and send back to you, we will automatically, like if you only do it every six months, then when you get that package, you'll get all six templates that you've got coming Jamie, to you. Like, Jamie, yeah, Jamie, we do have some Tom packets for sale still. They're uh, 2017, 18, and 19. We haven't put together the 2020 yet. Yeah. Can you explain how to become a premium member? Yeah, so in order to become a premium member, um, you just go to the website, makeawoodsign.com, and there'll be a tab at the top that says premium membership. And then when you click on that, it'll give you a lot of details on there. And then at the very bottom of the page, it'll say uh, subscribe or click here to subscribe or something like that. And it's $9.95 a month. And for that, you get the Tom every month. You get a 5% discount on every order. And then the biggest value, I think the biggest value is free router bit sharpening. Any bits that you buy from us, I will sharpen them for free. All you've got to do is pay shipping back and forth. Um, the, the, one, the one caveat to that is the spiral cutters. I can't sharpen those because I do them by hand. So I can't sharpen those. But the other five, I absolutely can sharpen. Uh, the other five, yeah. Yeah, five. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, so that's, that's kind of the synopsis of premium membership It uh, $9 and 95 cents a month. Now, if you want me to sharpen our router bits, I won't sharpen anybody else's router bits if you buy them somewhere else. But if you buy our router bits, I will sharpen those and you don't have to be a premium member, but it's $7 per router bit plus shipping, but $7 per router bit. So if you send me two router bits a month or it averages out to that you save a lot of money by being a premium member so it, it just is very convenient Frank that Jenkins way. wants to know if you'll still be still be sharpening the old SC50s absolutely yeah any of my old bits as long as they're not the spirals any of the old bits absolutely I'll sharpen them uh, not a problem Darren says uh, I, I sharpen them all the time Darren says we get the toms but what about the Jerry oh very nice. Good. Um, anyway, so that's the answer to that question. The second one is, is there, uh, is there anywhere on the website that you list your YouTube videos in chronological order? I did a video on this just uh, in January. And so I've written it down. If you go to the channel search and you type in this phrase, just like it is, all capitals and you type it in like that in the channel search you'll see the video where I talked about that and how to actually search our videos on YouTube within our channel in chronological order or from back to front front to back or most popular you have those three choices but it's, it's super simple to do but if you go watch that video, but you have to type that in the channel search I mean, just the I way it is. I'm not, I, to me, I can read it, but look in there. Hold on, I'm going to go It's in. kind of far away. Yeah, I'm sorry. But you have to type it in just like it is, all capitals, and then the channel search will find it. Okay, hold on, so don't move it. I'll wait till I see it. Okay. Or you could type in the, uh, the phrase in order. If you type in the phrase in order, that video will come up as well. Okay, so that's the answer to that one. And then um, last, uh, last he says, bases for routers. I made a 12 by 12 base for both of my routers, uh, which I hate to waste the money and time and to be buying additional ones, which doesn't make sense for him to buy bases from us if he's made his own. 
He says, I will cut the, uh, the palm base and the shape similar to yours, uh, I, but I can't find the handles. Could, could I purchase just the handles? Uh, can you sell the handles to us? I, I don't, we really don't sell the handles, but here's what the handle looks like. Uh, we buy these by the box, by the hundreds, if not more, because we make so many base plates. But all this is, guys, this is the original handles that I found down at Lowe's in the cabinet uh, hardware, uh, yeah, cabinet hardware area. And they're just drawer pulls. That's all they are is drawer pulls. So you may, if you're making your own base, or if you have one of ours and these are too small for you or whatever, you don't like them, go down to the uh, Home Depot or Lowe's and go look at their drawer pulls and you can put your own handles on there, whatever you like. I like these. Uh, this is what, the original one that I picked and uh, and I still like it. It's still my favorite. But uh, some people like bigger ones or different shaped ones or whatever. You can swap them out. So that's what I told Anthony. Just go to uh, find cabinet hardware and- uh, Brad Paul said even Walmart sells them. Yeah, that's true. They do have some cabinet hardware. So yeah, they're super simple to find. And uh, just pick the ones that you like the feel of and uh, swap them out if you don't like the ones on our base or if you make your own base. Um, okay, that's about it. That is it. Let's get into the sign carvers of the day. We have any questions or anything I need to cover? All right. I dropped down to just five on the sign carvers of the day, guys, because um, I, I want... I want to really um, concentrate more on individuals. I don't want to have to blow through them really fast. So I think I'm going to drop down to just five a day. Chris Fugit says, did you ever use those handles I sent you? Those are the ones he the made? The wooden ones. Yeah, the wooden ones he turned. Mm -hmm. I did. Yeah, I did. I, I, I like them. You want to mess them up. Huh? You want to mess them up. Yeah, I like them. I Oops, do sorry. like them, Chris. Um, All right. I'm going down here. So one of his first... Uh, First signs, Norm Albright just started carving oh, wow. signs and uh, he's a kitchen remodeler. But for his one of his first signs, that is really, really cool. I love the coloring and I don't know if that's all wood, the grain of the wood or he just stains some of it. But man, that's really cool looking. I love it. Scott Christian, our buddy, uh, the Minions, uh, creator so this is a piece of apricot wood check that out that gorgeous what a beautiful board great job i think he said it carved kind of hard beautiful work buddy uh speaking of buddy buddy arend this is uh john arend has been with us for a while and is a sign maker and this was made by his son uh, 17 year old son uh, John taught Buddy how to make signs and uh, wow. this is his wow. first sign pretty impressive evidently John's a good teacher that it really looks nice John he's the one that's coming over tomorrow yeah John and I think his wife are coming by tomorrow they're in Vegas and they're gonna drop by for a visit great job buddy all right Dave Broadhead check this one out mm. Two foot by three foot panel board from Lowe's. Uh, he used weathered oak stain and uh, and then czar on top of that. He used a profile bit and a spiral bit to uh, to carve it. That is so cool. That really is a neat, uh, neat artwork. Two foot by three foot. Great job, Dave. Beautiful work, man. And Doug Powell. Doug runs that rescue up. Okay, but we got real blurry. Back off. You want me to back off? No. Oh. All right. Doug Powell. Uh, so he runs a dog rescue up there in, uh, gosh, I always get Montana and Wyoming mixed up. But up there, uh, and he, uh, he goes on the reservations and rescues dogs from the reservations. Anyway, so he took... Vicky's uh, design and made a cool little leash holder for it. Great job, Doug. Terrific work, you guys. Really nice stuff. So, um, I think that is about it. 
thank you guys for all of the great comments on uh, yesterday's video and today's video. You guys have really been stepping up. We've been asking you to make more comments on the YouTube videos and we so appreciate that. You'll see this probably on YouTube within a week or two. And uh, thank you so much for all the comments, guys. We really appreciate it. Tomorrow, a uh, brand new project that Vicki and I are working on together again. So this one is, uh, I think you guys will really like it. The first video of the project is tomorrow. And then uh, you guys do not want to miss the Zoom. Josh, no, you e I'm sorry, babe. Oh, that's I, right. You email them to Eric, eric at makeawoodsign.com. Oh, sign carvers of the day? Yeah. Email me directly. Don't uh, don't message me or anything through Facebook. Email me directly. I'll show my email in a second. Anyway, Zoom on Friday is super special. You guys do not want to miss it. It was really, really cool. Uh, we did it the other day. You guys will like it. Very, very uh, packed with information. It's too cold, Nancy. I haven't had a chance to work on it. Asking about the table? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Keep waiting for the weather to warm up. We get one day of decent weather and then, you know, we look in the forecast and the rain the next day or Frank just cold. Frank hit 600 subscribers today. Oh, congratulations, buddy. That's great. Royal projects by the king and queen. <laughs> congratulations, Frank. If you guys haven't checked out Frank's uh, channel, definitely go check him out. Um, Darren, too. He said he's stuck at 184. Yeah. Darren's uh, making videos now too. Mm -hmm. So terrific guys, that's terrific. And I actually have another collaboration coming up that you guys will see sometime in the next few weeks, hopefully if everything goes right, I'm working on it now, which has been a while since I did a collaboration with another YouTuber, but I've got one uh, in the works right now and you guys will see it soon. I'm really excited about it. Uh, okay. so. The email address again. Well, Nancy, it's cold for us. It wouldn't be cold for you. Yeah. <laughs> she said they're headed to Tucson on Friday. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's Nancy... Uh... Peterson. Oh, terrific. All right. Okay, so there's my email address. Hopefully that shows up. If you guys have any questions, any comments, any uh, concerns issues, anything I can help with, just let me know. Darren says I'm about to finish my first collaboration sign with a YouTuber. Terrific. That's exciting. Good for you, Darren. I love it. Tracy That's... Detwaller said, how did that lamp you did turn out? It turned out good. It turned out good. I think I, I showed a picture of it, um, I think a I week or two ago. Uh, I was a little disappointed that he put a, a dark stain on it. And then he painted the letters. Uh, I guess the, the same color of the logo of his, it was his son's company. And I, I thought he should have let it left it uh, natural wood. That's what I would have done because that wood was so pretty. But um, but it, it made a great lamp and uh, he was super happy with it. I guess his son was super happy with it. So I'm happy. I would have done it a little bit different. I didn't like the colors on the letters. I would have left it wood color. But anyway. All right, that's it, Go, boys and girls, boys and boys, Go, <laughs> boys and girls. Um, hope you guys are having a great week so far. Uh, we will be back live on Thursday oh, and good. Friday. I'm sorry. That's all right. Jeff Dale had called me yesterday and asked me about some resin question. He said it turned out amazing. Thanks for the advice. Terrific. Good job. Aaron Smith said may have landed a gig with a beard, beard product company making a product organizer for them. Oh, Perfect who's that? You, Darren. Darren? Mm -hmm. Oh, terrific, Darren. That's great. And I know uh, Matt is Matt has got some really exciting stuff going on. Uh, so proud of you guys. You're doing awesome work. So uh, keep up the great work. Keep having fun and get out there and let people see what you're doing. Good things will happen. That's just the way it works. So that's it, guys. You guys have a great night. Thank you so much. Please give us some thumbs up. And share the video and, uh, you know, all that stuff. So have a great night, guys. We love you. We'll see you on Thursday. Bye. Bye.